Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. In this video, I will be sharing whole lot of recipes all through the day from morning till evening. How you can quickly plan and prepare food in less time. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do sure like, share and subscribe to my channel. Live tasty, be happy. Also consider sharing with your friends and family and leave a good comment. Now let's get started. In many of my videos, I will start my day with the morning breakfast or the school tiffin box which I plan for my kids and sharing the same with you all. This is simple hakka noodles or chow mein which is a street side recipe. I have prepared it today for my school. cool tiffin box for the kids here the ingredients are very clear and simple just i have taken oil for frying in that i added cabbage carrot and beans followed by salt and little bit of pepper and soy sauce that's all nicely give it a saute and i had kept these noodles prepared the previous day night itself so that in the morning it will be only 10 minutes for me to pack this tiffin box cook and pack together if you are following me from long time in many of my videos you would have seen i keep cut vegetables that is carrot and beans always ready in freezer in large quantity so in the morning hours i don't feel any difficulty in using whole lot of carrots beans and these cabbages are also so easy to chop look at the weather over here it is very foggy but weather is good we are expecting some snow in the evening as well today we will be preparing two curries one is paneer kadai and other is chicken masala for making paneer kadai i have taken paneer out of the freezer and i have kept it in warm water likewise i will also prepare dahi vadas if you keep vadas like this in the freezer ready any time you can prepare dahi vadas like how i am going to prepare today paneer we get in big log that is why i cut and keep excess in freezer itself this chicken is with bones i marinated previous night itself with ginger garlic paste chili powder turmeric powder garam masala lemon juice salt that's it now i am going to chop enough onions these onions are little extra for both the curries together i am going to work quickly how you can make things quick that is what i am going to share today in single pot itself we will fry for both the curries i am just taking enough oil in that i will be adding all the onions nicely saute until translucent until then we will also prepare the tomatoes to go into this slowly i will show you why i added so much onion don't think that i am using lot of onions for this much curry you can see now onions are nicely translucent in this i will be adding all these tomatoes also add little bit of water cover it and cook for 5 to 10 minutes all this cooking i just finish in 1 hour itself Now paneer has nicely softened and this onions and tomatoes are also well done. I am taking little bit of onions for our paneer kadai like how you will add the big chunks of do pyaaz are like right for that reason I am taking little bit of onion. All you can do it single pot itself. Now I have just taken handful of cashews added into this onion and tomato. I will let it cool completely then we will make a fine puree or paste. I will cook the uh, chicken in the same pot in which I marinated last night. Don't add any water in the chicken. The chicken will release its own liquid. Until the chicken is getting cooked, let's make the puree or the paste of tomato, onion and cashews. This way while preparing multiple dishes, if you prepare the base recipe that is onions, tomatoes, all grinding work and all together your time will be cut down to half 
that is what i am doing today you can add this yogurt while you are marinating the chicken itself but i forgot at that time so i am adding it now and i am just adding little bit of onion tomato paste i don't want too much of liquid that is curry in the chicken whereas i need more of curry in paneer so i just added little bit of paste that is tomato and onion paste and now let's shift the other side and let's start cooking our paneer masala for paneer kadai i have taken enough oil to that i'll be adding the whole spices bay leaf cinnamon black cardamom green cardamom and the cloves now i'll be adding the tomato onion puree you can see most of the puree i have added for the paneer curry i need this curry more also for the dinner i will be using the same paneer kadai for parathas to that i'll be adding salt chili powder garam masala kasuri methi turmeric powder nicely give it a good mix and to that i will be adding little bit of water cover it and cook for at least 20 minutes on low medium flame now definitely i need to share the review of this rice this is khalis pakwan extreme basmati rice i found this in our grocery shop in misisaga uh it's an uh, indian and pakistani shop i found this this brand is pakistani first time i tried this rice extremely flavorful and very tasty just how you will feel when you use kala zeera or uh, zeera samba rice like that only nowadays in basmati and all there is no flavor no any taste but this rice i must share the review it is very very tasty you can see my very free hand style of cooking just add rice water any vegetables of your choice to that i am adding oil zeera and a little bit of garam masala and whole spices add salt enough salt to taste and simply you can go and keep it over the stove and your pulao vegetable pulao will be very much ready at the same time our paneer uh, kadai is also ready in that i am adding this paneer and the onions which i have taken and kept nicely give it a good mix after adding paneer do not leave it more than 5 minutes only 2 to 3 minutes is also enough you can off the flames our chicken is ready and our paneer is also ready now our pulao is on the way getting cooked let's prepare some tea 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock it's my tea time in our house we will have tea until then let's come and prepare this dahi bade you can see how nice fluffy and soft dahi vade these are already detailed recipe is there on my channel i leave the link in the description box always if you keep dahi vades like this in the freezer any time you feel like having them easily pull out put this bada in the hot water they will become super soft easy to make the dahi vadas you can see this is homemade yogurt this is nice thick creamy yogurt i will take little bit as jamun or the culture for making fresh dahi or yogurt watch the video till the end i will be sharing the recipe after keeping aside the jamun or the culture i am adding salt and sugar and little bit of water and nicely give it a good mix why i added water is these vadas are nice Uh, fluffy they are they are ready to absorb lot of liquid now so i have added little water also so that the curd doesn't become too thick after adding it over this i will keep it in fridge in the evening i will have it like chaat you can use it in different ways south indian style tahir vada or dahi vada you can make north indian style vada dahi vada with a lot of chutneys you can make or you can make papdi chaat or dahi papdi chaat and all that type of recipe also but base is this only always in winter time in tea we used to add ginger ginger gives nice strong flavor and it fights cough cold and flu symptoms as well you can see our rice is nice and fluffy very very flavorful i must say it again and again khalis pakwan is the name of the brand if you find in your local market definitely look for it this is samahan i brought it from india nowhere else i found this i tried to search it even in amazon no i don't find people in india you can try this 
for cough cold and in even for covid like symptoms and all this is very nice in tea just add one sachet it is less than one teaspoon only but intense flavor of all those herbs is very prominent in the tea you can use it in tea coffee or even in plain water you can take if you have flu like symptoms last and final i will be sharing the recipe of the yogurt how i prepare yogurt thick and nice creamy yogurt in this wintry icy cold weather also all the review i gave in this video is not at all promotional it is not any paid promotion or something my personal choices and my personal review only i am sharing Here in Canada we get milk like this only it's a pack of 3 all 3 packs together is 4 liters and it is a heavy uh, milk that is whole milk full cream this is what we need for making yogurt so i will use one full packet for making yogurt today Now we will boil this milk on low medium flame for half an hour and let it cool completely until you can resist your finger it should be lukewarm you should not completely cool down also lukewarm milk you add the culture or the jamun nicely give it a good mix and when you add the milk in the pot whichever you want to set see to that this froth is on top that will give nice texture to your yogurt Nicely you can see I have mixed the jamun I will cover it up and keep it for only 3 hours I will keep it inside the oven with the oven light on I am not putting on the oven this is oven light only with that oven light heat itself it will get cooked you can see the time 6 6:15 I am keeping it now the time is 9 o'clock in 3 hours your yogurt will be set don't leave the yogurt for long time because if you leave it for long time it will become sour and tangy and after that instantly don't use the yogurt keep it in fridge for at least 2 to 3 hours then only the yogurt will taste also good see next day morning i am showing you all how it looks after taking out of the fridge now you can see how nice thick and creamy yogurt it is always remember once again i am repeating nicely cook the milk in low temperature for at least half an hour so that all the water evaporates next tip add the culture or the jamun when it is lukewarm when your finger can resist you can just drop your finger in the milk and see if it is resistible add the jamun and keep it and do not keep the yogurt for long than 3 hours only for 3 hours you keep it will be nice sweet yogurt see what i am doing with my dahi vadas i am preparing my chaat for the evening tea time we had store bought samosas if you buy store bought samosas you will get all those chutneys i will use all those chutneys and this dahi vada together i will make my own chaat that's how you can make multiple dishes with this dahi vada also hope you got to see lot of recipes today whenever you have free time you can cut vegetables and freeze and in free time you can make this uh, dahi vadas and freeze and there are so many tips which you can keep ready so that your cooking will be easy when you go for cooking all things will be ready and you can prepare things quickly and easily hope you all found this video useful and if you like my videos do like share and subscribe to my channel lip tasty be happy soon i'll be back with another awesome recipe or a vlog until then stay safe take care and goodbye